to the redesign with Prima Facebook group. Um, if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Leah and I am the owner of Leah Noel Design Co. And I'm a brand ambassador here at Redesign. And um, I just want to say this right now, if you guys are, and I'll probably say this a couple times in the video. Um, I have a lot of you guys message me and say, I can't comment. I think I do have this post shared to my page, Leah Noel Design Co. So if you're there, you may have to um, request access to the Redesign with Prima group, which is a great group because we talk everything transfers. Um, a lot of brand ambassadors do lives in this group and um, there's a lot of community support. So if you guys are on my page, if you guys like the Redesign with Prima page, the, you'll have, um, you'll be able to comment on this live. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of show you what I'm doing. I'm gonna bend the, I'm gonna actually adjust my camera just a hair as y'all are popping on. We're gonna put a transferring metal today. And I gotta figure out my tripod because it's, there we go. We're just gonna raise it a little. Sorry guys, I never know until I come live. Is it gonna work? <laughs> we're gonna be able to see. So um, I'm gonna use this today. This is what we're gonna do. And just to kind of give you guys an idea of what this is, this I got at Michael's, okay? This is a caddy I got at Michael's. I can't see your comments yet. If you're here, go ahead and give me a comment if you would. And let me, um, let me just cross this off. Okay, oh, there we go. Hi, Roz. And Roz is here. She will be helping um, answer some questions that you guys may have. So this is a caddy I got at Michael's on their summer sale. It's originally $40. I don't think I paid more than seven for it. And it's cool, I have all my resin art stuff in here. This pulls out, and then you have like the whole interior space where I keep my resin molds. Um, so, but it's boring. Look how boring this thing is. What's this thing called? Ashland Caddy. It's so boring. Okay, we're gonna make it fun. I'm gonna set this aside. So I bought two of them because, you know, I always have stuff to, you know, to, uh, to, to store. Um, so this comes out and then you have like your empty space inside. I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use transfer scraps today. Let me see if I put my glasses on, if I can see that far comments. I can't. Um, I'm going to use transfer scraps and how I store my transfer scraps, because I think this is probably useful to you guys. If you guys start, you know, using transfers for, you know, your crafts, your furniture, whatever it may be, you're going to have transfer scraps. So like these are just pieces that I cut off from Violet Hill that I didn't use. This one's from like Floral Collection. I don't even know what this is from, but what I do is when I don't use, like this is script. I love script writing. If I don't use this on the piece, I save them. And I save them like this. There's a couple ways I store my transfers so they don't get damaged. One way is with a binder clip right? If I have bigger transfers, I take all my transfers like this and I put a binder clip on them and I just hang them on a nail on my wall. Um, especially if I have transfers that like, say, I know I want to use again soon or they're big or they're, you know, I, I, I'll hang them like that. But most of the time they go in this box right here it's called transfer scraps. And this is just an old Dixie Belle box. Um, and I just roll them up and then I also keep a smaller box in here and I cut them out and I, I I'm just going to tip it up to show you guys just to kind of keep them organized. So I keep my rolls on one side and I keep my smaller pieces in here. Sometimes I organize them by plastic bags too, but my point of telling you guys all this is because, um, you know, there's always like, look at this. I can use this for something. There's always more projects you can get out of your transfers opposed to just the furniture and that's what I really like about it because I feel like I get a lot for the um the, the investment that I make on a transfer hi Jody hi Stacy hello you guys thanks for being here let's get started on how to create it on metal so like I said this is just kind of some extra transfers these are some butterflies we're going to use we're going to layer some transfers on here but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this out because we're not going to need this and I'm gonna clean this because it may have some oils on it or whatever from the store. So what I like to use to clean my stuff that's like 
you know, just a quick cleaning. I mix, if you guys are like, uh, you know, getting into furniture painting or you already do, one of the products I keep on hand from the store is called the Natured Alcohol. I think it's also like Marine Boat Odor, um, Marine Boat Fuel or whatever. It's called the Natured Alcohol. And I mix it 50-50 with water. And I use this a lot to clean pieces that like say, say I have like, say I'm cleaning something that is, like pine that's unsealed and I don't want to get that wood really wet or I'm cleaning like a Bombay chest and I don't really want to get it too wet or I'm cleaning metal. Um, I use denatured alcohol and water to clean it. So this is just going to kind of get the oils off. Now if you're kind of, if you're just a crafter and you're like, I am, I have no purpose or no reason to buy denatured alcohol, um, just clean your metal with like a rubbing alcohol or vinegar or something that will kill the oil and just get the oils off because you know this has been touched in the store and whatever and i'm not painting this this is just straight from the store so i just want to clean the surface that i'm going to be putting my transfer on okay so i'm going to say this again while i'm doing this if you are on my page leona Wall design co if you're having trouble commenting you guys um hop on over to the redesign with prima group and you should be able to comment. Roz, maybe you'll have some more information on that. I don't know why. I just have a lot of people message me and they say I cannot comment. Okay, so it's clean. Um, and I'm going to start with this piece right here. Hi, Stephanie. I'm going to start with this piece right here. And you can kind of tell it's kind of got a corner. So I'm going to layer this. And I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to have fun. Hello, the farmer's wife. Hi, Brittany. And we're just going to layer and we're just gonna kind of see where this gets us. So I'm gonna use these corner transfers and I'm gonna cut off, I knew I brought this edge. Okay, so like right here where that line looks straight, I'm just gonna cut it so it doesn't, I'm just gonna cut anything that makes it feel like a, um, a straight line. And I'm just gonna cut around here just to kind of, I'm just trimming my transfer to make it not look like a straight line. I'm gonna layer this on I don't know where these are from. Hello, Patricia from Ireland. I have no idea where I got these from. Some transfer I used. Um, and then I have like corner pieces like this. I find these ones are a little bit harder to use, but we may still use them. Uh, I have, I have lots of pieces here. I also have this one. So this one we may just cut because that line's too straight. You know what I mean? Like we have to make it look like it's coming like down. Like I can put it on the top right here. Let me show you. I could put it on the top right here, but I'll have to cut this out to where it doesn't look so, that actually looks really good like that. Hmm, we might just go with that one. Um, so what I wanna do is I wanna cut it in a fashion to where like, this is off because this would indicate there was a straight line that was supposed to be there. So I'm just going to trim that while well, that's, this, this should be dry. It's dry. This will only take a second. I'm just going to cut anything that feels like a straight line off. I'm going to cut into my flowers a little. Let me show you the before. So I'm, I'm just going to kind of cut into my flowers a little bit like this. And we'll see. It may not, I'm probably going to cut this off Oop, okay see see all right so now do you see how we took that straight line and we just kind of trimmed it a little bit hi Kathleen um, so I'm gonna actually apply this right here and I'm gonna layer it up. And I might save that for the, the next side. So I'm gonna make sure you guys can see this. Let's see, you guys see right here? So what I wanna do is I just wanna take this transfer scrap and, and I just kinda cut that right there like that. And I wanna put this on so that it's pretty and it looks nice. Right here I have a little bit of a line and I want that line to be really, sh like I want that line to be straight up against this line. So I'm just gonna trim. Just gonna trim this. Okay. And 
as I'm like thinking about putting this on here, I also want to think about this bottom because this bottom is going to be um, a void right here. We're going to go ahead and we're at the point where we're going to just zoom in on the project right here. There we go. Okay. Okay. So we have this right here. Let me straighten you out just a hair. And um, I have these other pieces that can kind of fall. This will probably go around the back. So I'm thinking this piece right here, I'll just kind of stick over it once it's once it's on and I want to put a little script right here so I like to save all these little pieces of script I have some over here from different transfers okay so I have this this piece here I've saved I'm just gonna go ahead and put this underneath right here just to kind of give it a little more um, just a little more let me see if I have a there we go this piece might fit better I'm just going to put this underneath it and it's going to say spring flowers because that's the one I have. And I'm going to add this because it's going to be a layered transfer. So we're just going to layer this transfer right now. So I'm going to think about how I want it to lay. I want this spring flowers to be like this. And then I want to put this over it. And I guarantee these are not from the same. I bet these are not from the same uh, thing. And then we'll put a butterfly or a big flower right here. So I'm just going to start. And I'm just gonna go for it. The best way to like do these transfers is just to go for it. We're just gonna throw it on the ground and pick it up later. All right, so we want spring flowers right here. And on metal, like I just set it on. If I was on wood, it wouldn't cling as fast, but this is clinging really, really fast. Like I feel like I can almost peel this up right now. And then there's two kinds of tools you can use. If you're um, if you've been around for a while, this is the redesign tool. This is a great way to rub your transfers on. This comes with your transfer. This is a stick. I usually, a lot of times I opt to use my stick. Um, other things I've seen people use is big wooden spatulas, big wooden spatulas from like your kitchen. So I'm just going to rub it on. And I'm gonna let it kind of fall where it may over here. I'm gonna rub it on the bottom. Um, and as far as sealing goes, I don't think I'm gonna seal this. I think I'm just gonna leave it. I don't think there's any reason to seal it because it is on metal. When you do transfers on like metal and mirrors, I don't see any reason to seal them, especially mirrors. Um, mirrors, it'll make it look foggy. But I'm not gonna, I'm really, I'm not gonna seal this. See how, that, how easy that fits stuck on there? Let's see if I can just peel this off. Yeah. That was like so effortless. Um, if you guys are wondering, I did get the box at Michael's. Okay. That looks really good. I like that. Perfect. Let me hold this up. Let me see. Uh, the mess I made this last time using a transfer was crazy. I know I'm the same way. I make such a mess. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and use this piece that we just trimmed um, and we're just gonna layer it. I'm gonna let those flowers set right over those golden words. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm thinking that's the position I want it. I want to mark it like right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel it off and I'm gonna remember in my head that, I'm gonna peel on this side because it's easier. Um, that once it's like sets on the metal, it sticks. It's not like, a, like on furniture, I can move it around. Here, it sets on the metal and it sticks. So I wanna make sure I line it up. I really wanna make sure this flower almost overlaps. Just let it lay. Oh yeah, I did good on that. <laughs> Sometimes I do good. Sometimes I don't. So I'm just gonna push it over. 
Um, if you've never used the transfer before, I'm going to tell you what, they're easy to use on metal. You can use them on fabric, furniture, wood, mirrors, really anything. You're obsessed with tins, Kathleen? Yeah, I don't know. This one's going to be too pretty to store like my paint stuff in. I might have to put this in my house with some succulents in it or something. So I'm just kind of rubbing my edges. I want to make sure I don't rub um, the ones I just put on off. How many of you guys have done this before? Uh, transfers on metal. Have any of you guys actually done transfers on metal? Or what's the most unique thing you've ever put a transfer on? So make sure we get this side pushed on. I've put transfers on, uh, on my refrigerator. On, I haven't done a mirror yet. What else have I done? Shoes, an apron. All right, let's peel this back. See where we're at. Okay. So I'm just gonna kind of push it down, but you guys, this, this went on really, really easy. As I pull my transfers up, I just kind of keep my stick close. Oops. I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a little more pressure, a little more rubbing. On mirrors, yeah, I have a couple lives. I have a couple lives ago. Uh, oh, I saw your metal watering can, Roz. I saw you do it. I did never see the end product though. I'll have to look. I did like see you do it for like a couple minutes. gonna come off okay yeah oh gosh that was easy look how pretty that is already and it's pretty secure look at that um so I could put like a flower here or a butterfly or whatever I want um but I kind of want to work on the back a little bit and then we'll I'm thinking on the side here I'm gonna just add this script just for fun um because it fits well it, but I'm um, on the back, I'm going to do the back first because I, I have a feeling I want to layer it. So I, I always am looking for my lines and I want to hide. I want to use this scrap because I really don't want to throw it away. But I want to hide that line um, some way, somehow. So I'll probably use a butterfly or something for that. Um, I have this that can kind of come down and in. So it's really just trying to figure out which one to put on first for the layering process. Because there is going to be a layering process. So that would be upside down. So this kind of has to go here. Like this, I could put this like this, bring this around here. Yep, so I'm thinking this, this around here, this one here, and then right here, I could probably hide that straight line right here, but I'm just gonna kind of cut it. And since it's a floral, it's really easy to just kind of like, I don't know, like act like I'm in first grade and I can't cut a straight line. It's pretty much all I'm doing. All I'm doing, look at that. It's like a first grader trying to cut a straight line. Um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna put this one here and I'm, I'm just working with those straight lines. I'm not, oh, 
oh, I, I also have uh, this I wanted to add. So this is a really good piece. When you're working with like transfer scraps, sometimes you're like, okay, this is a really good piece. I have to use this in some way. Um, so I'm thinking like this, and then I'm gonna layer this over it, like right here. Kind of just wanna get these on and then I'll decide. So yeah, and then I'll layer that script over that. Okay, let's just do it. Let's just get one on. I just don't feel like you could mess this up. I'm gonna just go ahead and go on this, oh, maybe I can mess this up. Oh no. All right, well. Um, that actually didn't turn out as bad as I thought it was in my head just there. But it, once it sets on metal, it's on metal. Uh, am I Lynn? I have been obsessed with these lately. I've never been a pop drinker, um, but these have been a treat for me lately. I love them. I love, love, love them. I think I drink too many of them a day. And you know where I buy my seltzer water is Menards. <laughs> they have the best selection of seltzer water there. Menards and Aldi. And I like to mix it with my white wine too. Because I like to drink, everything I drink, I drink quick. So I like to mix my white wine with my seltzer water so that I don't, uh, I don't drink it too quickly. All right. Anyone else have that problem? <laughs> or is it just me? Especially when it's hot. Get the liquid in. Look at how easy that was. Oh my gosh, that's really cute. I like that a lot. White wine spritzer, absolutely. This is Violet Hill. So this is Violet Hill, and this is Violet Hill. That's all I'm using. I'm using scraps today, Lynn, um, because, you know, Lynn, you paint. You know, you you got scraps sometimes. So I'm just going to, since that's on there, I'm going to push this one over to here. And I'm actually going to, I want that. Oh, you know, I could cut those letters off, but I'm not going to. Okay, I don't know how this is gonna lay, but it's gonna lay because there's no going back. I'm gonna actually just trim this because I don't wanna go over my flower here. And I'm gonna put this actually right here. I'm gonna just cut this I'm going to cut this and let it fall. And I'm going to just let these berries kind of pop up through here. Like that. And then we're going to just slide this stick on it. And it's going to just go on so easy. Thank you, Lynn. Yeah, this is all from Violet Hill. And I, I get I get so many scraps, I, I want to use them. You know, like, especially from Violet Hill, because Violet Hill's a really pretty transfer. And we're gonna go ahead and layer this up. Oh, this corner, come on, corner. new to using transfers is anybody here like I've never used a transfer before any questions that you guys have even that doesn't pertain to putting it on metal um, I'd love to answer for you and again if you're on my page Leah Noel Design Co and you can't comment um, if you guys go into the redesign with Prima group you will be able to comment I know that happens I get messages every week 
I wasn't able to comment, so you just have to go into that um, group. Okay, so that was just a throw on right here. Let's see. Look at that. All right, so this side looks pretty concise. This right here, I mean, I feel like I need a filler right here, and I want this to be the filler. And I'm gonna cut this flower out because it has that straight line. No straight lines. And we're either gonna, um, I don't know, what do you think, like this? I'm thinking like that. I was gonna go like this, but I think like this. We're just gonna get that on. And I'm gonna wanna go and buy another one of these because I think, I think this is really fun. I'm just trying to think of the best way to fill this space at the moment. That's the best way. Just let it go. Don't overthink it. Layering scraps makes beautiful collages. That's a great idea. Where do you get Violet Hill? Um, the Farmer's Wife. So, Russ, I don't know if you can link her to uh, the Redesign with Prima. You can find a retailer at the Redesign with Prima website. And we have retailers all over the U.S. that you can find, um, that you can, you can order from. So I'm, right now, this is like layering it, right? So I had a transfer on and I'm just rubbing a transfer over. So you can totally just layer it. Okay, yes, Roz linked that, thank you. Hi, Jennifer. It's always nice to see your name pop up. So as I layer, I just kind of want to make sure I'm not scratching the other one. Um, the transfer will pull the transfer off. Painter's tape will pull the transfer off. So I'm just kind of being cautious of not pulling it. Um, but like I said, this is really sticking to the metal really well. I honestly, in my opinion, I think it's easier to put a transfer on metal and fabric than it is on um, furniture. Maybe because it's usually smaller, but I find it so easy to use on both those materials. Hey, look at that. Ooh, pretty. Look at that. Okay, so that's that's the, you know, the back because we did it second. That's the front. I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, and we have a naked side. We got to get a dress on it. And then we have a little spot right here. Maybe we'll fill. Okay. Maybe we won't. Maybe, maybe that looks good. I'm just going to go ahead and I always like to just really rub my transfers down. I will not burnish this because it's on the metal. Um, but let's get this side done. So now it gets interesting because we have less transfers. But um, I have this piece here. I think I wanted to use some more script. If I have gold script, that's going to be even better. I even have this piece. So I probably am going to go with a little gold script. Let me just peek and see if I have any more from any other transfers. I do. So I have, I have some big fancy stuff too. Some underlay. I don't think I'm going to use this. As exciting as it was to find, I'm not going to use it. This can kind of set on the bottom. And then maybe have this flower come up to the top. I like that. We're going to do it. We're just going to go for it. Oh, wait. I kind of want to use this too. We'll use that last. So don't ever get rid of your um, your transfer scraps because they are useful. I find these gold letters are the hardest ones to store, but they 
they've come in handy today. So I don't know what to do with this tin now. I, I think I might just fill it with some flowers and use it for staging or something. Um, I'm, or I'll use it in my office for storage. It's too pretty to, to be out here in my shop. It'll get ruined. Okay, all right. So we have one piece on right here. Off topic, you want your straw to stay in your drink, flip the tab and put the straw in the hole. Oh, I like, thank you. That's a good idea. Thanks, Lynn. That's, that's a big help. I can even slide it through that smaller one too. Look at that. Thanks, Lynn. It's so much better. Do you know how many times I've, I've opened one of those LaCroix and knocked it over while I'm live? I just don't tell anyone. I spill them all the time. All right, so right here, I'm just debating whether I wanna, do I want this one here? All right, we have this, this can go up here or it can go up like that at the end. That one's gonna be an end one. We have this script, but it's not gold. And I also have this, this script here. Maybe I could just layer this like, yeah, we're gonna layer, we're gonna layer that. We're gonna layer this. Am I making sense? Um, I don't know. I think, I think when you're using transfers like this, you just kind of got to go for it because if you overthink it, you'll never get them on. And I think that it's okay when, oh gosh, I just put it on crooked. Well, <laughs> just put them on crooked guys. It's okay. It's all right. We are, we're going to roll with it. No one will ever notice. Totally put that on crooked. We're gonna put a big flower over that. I'm going to, I'm gonna put a big flower over it, Brittany. But I just have to go for it, otherwise I overthink it and then it doesn't get done. Look, you can barely tell. So we're gonna apply another one over it and hopefully we'll do it straight this time. And then we're gonna put a flower over it. <laughs> exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just put a flower over it. I'm gonna layer this on though. I do like the way that this looks right here. And hopefully this one goes on straighter. And it's on the side, so. Okay, so we kind of got a janky uh, side here because I put it all on crooked so we need a big flower right here and that's just what we're gonna do we're gonna trim this off because it won't be seen and we could use it elsewhere so we've just turned this into how to fix how to fix it when you make a mistake I was gonna put this one here let me just trim that out I was gonna put this one coming up this side here, and then this flower kind of coming here. 
No, it wasn't because that wouldn't look good. I'm thinking that there. Maybe that there if we need it. Nope. We're just going to put this here. We're going to cover up our... You see how that's solid? That'll cover it. Look at that. Lynn says it goes on so much easier than wood. Sometimes if I notice if I have a lot of, um, if I get a lot of, if I have a lot of paint brush strokes, which sometimes I do because everything's hand painted, or texture, I, it's harder to apply the transfers. This smooth metal is like, oh my gosh, it's like a treat today. Okay, so I can kind of see some of those lettering under there, the letters under there, but that looks good, doesn't it? I love it. I don't know, so they're retail $40. I got 70% off, so I don't know if I spent $7 on them or if I spent $12 on them. Originally 40, 70% off on their spring sale, and I can't do math, so I mean, <laughs> not without a calculator. Okay, I'm gonna put this one here. I'm just gonna layer this in any spot where I'm like, ah, this could use a little more. And this could just use a little more in the corner. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick this right here in the corner. And I'm just going to rub it with my hand. No, Michael's, I went to Michael's two weeks ago. I posted it on my Insta stories. And whenever I find good sales, I, I post it on my Insta stories. So if I'm at any craft store or whatever, Target, I don't care where, and there's like a good sale, I usually post about it. Um, I found a really cute sign and it was like antiques bought and sold. I bought that. I know that one was like $8. Um, cause I'm not paying full price at any craft store cause they always have coupons. All right. So that's there. That's cute. I don't know if I really even need to fill that space. We're going to just kind of peek around here and see what we have left. I have this cool flower that would probably go good right there. Right? Just random. All right. I have butterflies. I do have butterflies that may fill that space a little better. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna peek around it and just look. So I'm thinking this side is pretty complete. This side, we need something right here. We do, whether it's a flower or a butterfly. This side looks complete to me, right? I think that this voided empty space is good. And then um, right here, our mess up side, I think it's good, but I do think we just need something right here. So let's just decide, do we want, I, I really actually am leaning towards this because I think it'll blend nicely. Um, or we could put in a butterfly, a little pink butterfly right here. I'll wait for you guys to tell me. Uh, we have a pink butterfly. We have a black and white one. I still like the flower, but I kind of like the butterfly because it's different. There's not a butterfly anywhere else. Uh, let's see, we have a... Uh, Another pink one, white, or what do you guys think? The flower, the farmer's wife says the flower. Any votes on butterflies? What do you think the flower? The flower. The flower is lovely. Okay, let's put the flower on. So the flower is from, this is from, um, I just did this transfer on a dresser and brought it to the beach and staged it. It's called um, Floral, it's not Floral Finds. I thought it was Floral Finds. It's Floral something. 
All right, let's, oh, darn it. Gosh, what is with me today? All right, what's going on? I totally dropped that. But no one will know it's not the position I wanted it to be but me. So we're gonna leave it. Perfect. Look at that. So much better. Do both. You know, I'm, I'm trying to look and see if I have a spot here for a butterfly. I, maybe right there, but I kind of like that space empty. Hold on, let me, no. And I have to push all these bubbles out. So I, it is on metal. So there's some air bubbles. So I'm just gonna push them out. I don't see a spot for a butterfly here. I, I think on this side I could do a butterfly if I wanted to. You know what, I can. I could put it over that crooked. Let's put it over that crooked. It's crooked leather. <laughs> Can you tell that lettering's crooked? We're gonna smack a butterfly right there. But um, I do want to leave some. So sorry if that's loud. I want to leave some spaces open. I want to leave this open. Okay. This one I like. That's where we put the flower right here. I want to leave this space open. It it just creates a better look for the eye. And even right here, I want to leave this white space open. You need some white spaces, but I will put a butterfly. I'll layer that butterfly right here. Um, cause I think it'll look, I think it'll be pretty. We could do the pink and black. I think I was thinking this one, kind of like this white one. Andy's facing the other way. Do we like the white, the, the, the black and white? I kind of like that one cause it looks like it's flying. The pink ones blend in a little too much or this one. I'm going with black and white. I'm thinking black and white would be the best. Both because more is more. I'm gonna put the butterfly here just to cover up these words, but yeah, I, we need those white spaces. But we also need to like cover this up so I can act like I just, you know, didn't make any mistakes, guys. <laughs> we all know that's not true. And I'm just gonna rub this with my hand for now because it's doesn't seem like it needs that much pressure. It just clings to this metal. And it's gonna feel weird because this is totally done. Look, that just came off with, I didn't even have to use my stick. Look at that. All those crooked words you never would have known. I love it. Let me put it together and you guys, I'm excited. 45 minutes and we have a completed project and I'm thinking I might um, put like succulents or something in here. I don't know. No, I probably won't. I'll probably give it to my mom or something. No, I think I'm gonna keep this one in my house. Um, yeah, look at that. It's like a picnic basket. That's it. Totally done. So the transfers we used are pretty much, I used some scraps from the butterfly transfer. But this is mostly just scraps from Violet Hill. Uh, but I'm very pleased with how it turned out. So let's go ahead and I'll show you the before. Because I have a before, hang on. Can you guys see but Oh, I moved it. Okay, hang on. Let me see before we go. This is the before. If you're just hopping on, this is what it was. And I organize all my resin supplies in here. Yeah, this one is $40, but I got it, I got it 70% off or more. I don't even know. Uh, I bought a lot of things that day. And then this is the after. So, so I just want to, um, I just want to thank y'all for coming and joining me live here this week on the redesign in the redesign with Prima group. If you guys don't already, my business page is, um, Leah Noel design co. So please go like my page over there. I do a lot of, uh, you know, live tutorials and tips and such. And, um, I also want to, I want to say thank you to redesign for having me and thank you Roz for being here and doing the comments and helping everybody kind of figure out what's going on. So um, until next week, I'll be back here at 12 o'clock Central Standard Time. And um, if you guys have any recommendations or questions or, or things that you would like to see done, just send me a message at Leanna Wall Design Co. and I will um, put it on my schedule. So all right, everybody, have a great Tuesday. And until next time, have a good one. Bye-bye.